Welcome, Tauruses. <clears throat> uh, I hope you guys are having. Uh, please go check out uh, um, the uh, Gemini um, season. Your season is over, Taurus says. Oh my God. Ooh, you got a year in front of you, Tauruses. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I got my little stool at the side where I set my stuff on. Okay, all right. So, Taurus, go check out the Gemini season in order for you to know what to expect, what is coming up. Okay, <clears throat> and be aware of what is happening and transpired. Uh, Taurus says, I love you guys, but this uh, full moon is going to be heavy. All right. Let's see what is transpiring. So you have the energy of the five of pentacles, some sort of a hardship. It doesn't have to be financially. It's just hardship for um, you Tauruses that is coming in in this full moon. Okay. And uh, we have your turning your back and letting go of the situation and uh, looking for better shores. Okay. You were dealing with a whole lot of emotional situation. Could be relationships, but... Could be family situation, but it was very emotional, okay? Um, you're looking for a new start. You just want to leave this hardship behind you and create some sort of a new start. Um, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. Some of you, Taurus, was open um, and wishing for something. The Four of Cups, you have no regrets. You recognize you had to go through this hardship in order to um, regain stability in your world. A new start is going to be coming in. A lot of you are, were having problems with your kids and this is going to be resolved, okay? Um, victory and success is here, overcoming and victory and being victorious and successful. I see as a lot of you young people could be having some sort of a relationship problems, problems in your relationship, okay? Trying to find inner strength to deal with what is in, what is happening in your relationships. So, a lot of you who were having hardship, a whole lot of hardship, you, you, this is going to come to an end as you get to the second week in this full moon, because a resolution is going to be coming in. You have no regrets. You have no regrets. Um, whatever that has um, uh, um, transpired, you have no regrets. It's as if. Uh, this situation was kind of getting out of control and you had to bring it back in control. So I see you have absolutely no regrets. Okay. Um, and you know, you, you, you are standing your ground and endure, you have endured through a whole lot of hardships in your life in uh, hardships that is coming, whether it's financially, whether it's the people, outside influence that have created a whole lot of problems and issue for you you have endured this and you you are coming out on top and coming out the winner okay then we see a lot of you are looking to relocate a lot of you decide i've had enough of this city this place this country and a lot of you are looking to um um just leave just leave and 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 just you know call upon your angels and guys is this the place that i i was supposed to be um where um you know just hold my hands and lead me to where i need to be in my life and i see that they're going to be uh showing you and opening up the doors for you and a whole lot is going to start to happen for you um a lot of you are going to be getting new starts especially people uh, younger than 45 is going to be getting a whole lot of new starts, okay? Um, young people are going to be happy. You're going to be passing your exams. I see this as um, uh, exams, studies. You're going to be successfully um, with your studies. A lot of you young people, um, yeah, are going to be really passive with eye marks and be very successful. Whatever studies, whatever that you are doing, whatever that was transpiring in your world that you had to overcome. If you're taking lessons for your driver's license, you're going to be passing. Okay. Then we see the seven of cups in reverse. And, uh, you know, whatever the emotional situation is, because this is a situation where you had some sort of emotional problems, uh, 
where it could be relationship, but it could be also financial hardship. And it was as if some of you were in a place and, you know, people were trying to block you in every way, in every direction. And you're going to be thinking, if this is the case, you know, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Um, and I see that a lot of you are going to be um, recognizing that maybe it's time to relocate maybe it's time that uh, find more um opportunities somewhere else it's like where you are the opportunities are no longer available for whatever the reasons is and it's because of outside influences because of people who try to play some sort of a game never get you and they try to stop the opportunities that was coming in for you. So be aware of this. So then I see a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion woman. I see this woman is going, is dealing with a lot of issues at this moment. Maybe it's your wife. Um, maybe it's a business partner. Whoever this person is, you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming this person. Whatever this person have done, they have now recognized. And I see this person is trying to endure going through some sort of a um hardship for herself because and this is a scorpion woman whoever is this this is a scorpion woman and i see a lot of scorpions seems to be clearing their karmas in this full moon and it could be because scorpions is the eighth house a lot of uh, um a lot of uh, contracts karma okay um yeah this is as if you are uh, ending mending past life contracts and drama that is coming here so this is um you know a lot of you are going to be really standing your ground a lot of you are going to be recognizing um what has been happening a lot of you are going to be facing the truth facing the truth towards what is transpiring so um a lot of you are dealing with new love is going to be coming in okay and some of you who had some sort of a bad relationship <coughs> sorry i think you're just gonna overlook this and think you know it is what it is um it is what it is but you know i'm gonna let it let's go a lot of you who were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman, I see this woman is turning her backs on you guys because whatever you had with this woman, whatever dealings, um, it is not a family member. Some of you could be a family member, but it's as if you have overcome this person. This person has created a whole lot of chaos for you. And it is, um, for most of you, it is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion but well, for most of you, it's going to be a, a scorpion woman that created a whole lot of conflicts um, for a lot of you. And this was karma, past life karma that you're dealing with in this full moon. New start with love. A lot of you uh, who had some bad relationships behind your back. I see new and um, positive relationships is coming in. So this is going to be good. Open up your world. A lot of you who had um, have a couple of miscramp, I see a uh, baby um you're going to be successfully pregnant and you're going to be finding out like at your second trimester that you are pregnant okay so um i think you know this uh, you gotta understand if a child choose your vessel to bring them in they make the choices when you find out that they're pregnant because i think that some of you are going to be finding out when you're way in the middle of the second tri trimester that you can't do anything about it anymore so um if you know at the first trimester you're going to be recognizing that you might do an abortion or that sort of a thing and now people are going to be recognizing okay all right um yeah i'm now understanding i'm now seeing the truth i'm now seeing the facts okay so be aware of that all right, so the hardships could be with relationships because this hardships has something to do with your emotional stability and some sort of an unexpected resolution is going to be coming in because I see it's as if 
you know, there were people that was um, creating you outside influence that create some sort of a blockage for some of you. But I see that this blockage <clears throat> is going to be lifting up, okay? And this is going to be good. So expect some sort of unexpected surprises emotionally. <clears throat> and this surprise is going to be something that you receive like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. And <clears throat> that is going to be happening. In the second week, a lot of you are going to be receiving a brand new start. <clears throat> okay. And this is kind of weird. Okay, this is kind of weird. Um, but I'm going to be checking out and seeing what is transpiring. Why I say it's kind of weird is that some false person, whether this false person is, it was trying to get some sort of a new start. And... Uh, um, you're going to be finding this out. This person was raiding on your parade and was trying to get some sort of a news start and they're investigating this person now. Okay, so I looked at it and I was like, whoa, uh, hello. I see a news start and wishes and dreams coming true, but not for you, Falsita. So yeah, they're going to be investigating this person and it's going to be recognizing what this person have done. <clears throat> the four of cups they're investigating a cancer um yeah a cancer was trying to get some sort of a new start or your enemy which is a woman this woman is false as hell the energy of the fox she is really the fox false as hell the energy of the fox was trying to get some sort of a new start and they're going to be recognizing it okay I see you're going to be overcoming some sort of an illness that you have been going through because they're going to be recognizing um, that it is a cancer that has created this illness for you. And how they're going to be finding out is by going through this person uh, data and information and recognize that this person was trying to kill you in order to uh, um, get your identity, okay? Because they found out that... Uh, this person lied about their travel documents and information and this person was trying to kill you in order to get an, a new status and identity and they're going to be finding out what this person have done. A whole lot of you are going to be overcoming this illness and the illness was created um, for some of you to die. Okay, because they wanted your identity, whatever it is. So. Um, a lot of you, your parents and family could come from um, a high society, middle class, and all of a sudden you just become sick, you know, and all of a sudden they're going to be recognizing that a cancer is the one that were paying people um, in order to get you sick. This cancer wanted it either for themselves or for their family. Um, this is a really deceptive cancer and I do not want anyone to leave any message um, <clears throat> because it's my channel, my reading, um, and you're going to be seeing it here. Whoever this cancer is, this young cancer creates some sort of a sickness for some of you, okay? And you got to be aware of this. Some of you who were going through some sort of a sickness, it was created by a young cancer, all right? And uh, um, they were trying, they wanted your status, okay? And that is the reason why. All right, let's look to the sun sign, people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at what is coming up. Unexpected surprises and opportunities is going to be knocking at your door, okay? Unexpected surprises, opportunities is going to be knocking at your door. You're going to be very, very surprised um, <clears throat> of the things that is going to be coming out and the truth that is going to be coming out and the opportunities that were there for you and people tried to acquire your wealth and stability for this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Then we have the energy. I had to shuffle these cards. The energy of some sort of a luck, some something unexpected. Day. Um, um, they're going to be recognizing who you are, and um, is going to be recognizing that you have been 
treatedly um unfairly and opportunities that you should have received someone else tried to take this opportunities the opportunities are all coming back so whoever tried to take opportunities away from you guys um it is going to be coming back because they're going to be recognizing that you were the person and whoever those um those people who were pretending to be you um they are going to be caught and somehow because you're seeing here that light has been shed, that there was a whole lot of opportunities that was open for you. A whole lot of doors, outside influence, trying to block these opportunities and these doors. So, um, I really, um, this honorable Aries the or Sagittarian person was trying to get some sort of a new start. Okay, so you got to be, be aware of this person. This person is very dishonorable. Some of you is an older woman and this older woman has done something um, false and was trying to get some sort of uh, new opportunity, okay? But they recognize that this lady is false, okay? This lady, they recognize that this lady used um, you to climb the, the step, to, the, to climb a ladder, okay? Whether this Aries the or Sagittarian person is, Try to use youth to climb the ladder to the top and they caught this person. That's why the fox is here. Because this person was trying to take and steal your information, identity, or um, your capacity, capability, work. And they caught this person because they recognized that this person um, was not who they say they are. And they now recognize that this person created a fraud. Okay? They now recognize that this person created a fraud. So now they're going to be recognizing. So whether this Aries the Earth fire sign person is some of you could have worked with this person, or some of this some of you could be um someone who it could be a mother. Yeah, and sometimes it can happen, ladies and gentlemen, because you have to clear karma with people. Um, and whoever your mother is was kind of using your information or your identity in order to get some sort of a business assets or so or was pretending that you were um they were your mother in order to get some sort of access and people are going to be recognizing the fraud that this woman has created okay and um they're investigating um this woman and they're going to be catching this woman and you're going to be like yeah uh, you know your problem because um, you know that it was my information and that you could be caught, okay? So some sort of a data information um, came out and they recognize uh, what this Aries Lee or Sagittarius woman has done. It could have, they're going to be recognizing that this woman was like at the top of some sort of an international criminal organization. It's an Aries Lee or fire sign person and they recognize that this woman was caught up in some sort of a deceptive group and was falsifying um, and pretending to be someone who she wasn't. And they recognized who this woman was. And I see the law is going to be coming down on this woman. And a lot of you are going to be getting out of some sort of a problem that this woman has created for you. So it's a situation. So it's as if someone in another country, another city, or another place... Uh, call you Tauruses up and offer you something and gave you data and information that was not true and speak um, and lied to you, basically. And um, I see that you now recognize you have caught in, up in this situation and you're going to be telling people what exactly happened. And now you're recognizing and seeing the truth because some sort of a, a, a public, something came out public. Someone... Um, make sure that people knew publicly what was happening and everyone is now looking and recognizing that this Aries Lee or fire sign person used someone else's data and information to acquire some sort of a new start and new status and they are now recognizing who this person is okay so truths um, are coming out and you know the thing about this is that oh people are just bloody criminals because this person is pretending as if she's uh, the daughter or uh, of someone else that comes from a totally different country and don't even know this person the person don't even know where the dead woman is buried the woman is a 
um, a really deceptive, deceptive person. And I see a whole lot of you, Taurus, this is now going to be recognizing. They played me. They played me. They used me and played me. And you, Taurus, do not like that. And I see you, Taurus, is going to be going back and you're going to be winning and victoriously overcome this lady of what this lady have done. And I see you, Taurus, are going to be making sure that this lady do not get a new start because of what this, this lady has done. So Taurus is I'm on your side. I think that this was a really, and you Taurus are going to be really recognizing who this lady is and that this lady has been doing this for a very long time and has gotten you in a situation where it ruins your career or it ruins your reputation. And I see a lot of you are going to be recognizing, no, I'm not accepting this. And you are going to be making things right with the right people and making sure that this person do not get a new start, okay? Um, Because they recognize how this lady has used someone else's data and information to acquire some sort of a wealth. And now they're recognizing who this person is. And it, it is a situation where I see you, Taurus, has come to the end of um your string and it's like saying, nope. You're not getting away with this. No, no, no. You are definitely not getting away with this. All right. So I see a cancer is sick. I'm looking at you, moon sign people, moon sign people, whatever is happening and transpire. Moon sign people, people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. I will write it down here. Um, what is happening and transpiring is that uh, a cancer is sick. Is this your wife? And um, there is a whole lot of secrecy. A cancer is sick and this person holds a lot of secrecy. A whole lot of secrecy. You know, I really hope this person don't die, but it's as if... Uh, they want to give up because they recognize that they have failed. You have not failed. Whoever this person is, if your mother is a cancer, um, a older woman, 50 years and older, a older woman, 50 years and older, someone needs to reach out to this person because she's given up. Um, but she's not supposed to give up because uh, um, she has not failed. It's just that things just happen beyond her circumstances so i'm begging if this is your mother 50 years and older um go reach out to this person and tell them no but this person is holding so much secrets there is so much secrets um and this person needs to you know relieve their secrets because this person is holding a lot of secrets okay i see a lot of you are enduring and is deciding and want to make some sort of a decision about your mother or your wife because there is a, um definitely some um some some situation that is going on especially in the first week uh, that you have to make some decision so moon sign people some sort of a decision that you have to make uh, for your mother or your wife but this person hold a lot of secrets but um, you know, go talk to this person so that they can tell you, they can um, release whatever that they are holding. Okay, go talk to this person. This person needs to apologize or um, make things good between you and this person. And they just want to reach out to you. Okay, um, they really want to um, balance out a situation. They really want to tell you um, something. So they really want to, um, uh, you know, heal a karmatic situation. Because this is definitely, um, this person holds a lot of secrets. And um, it is about the, the, the karma of this person and the secrets that they hold. They want to release this before anything should happen, okay? I see that they are investigating a young cancer person, recognize uh, um, the lie and dishonesty of a young cancer person. 
So at the company, um, a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing that they're investigating a young cancer person. Um, for some of you, it's a cancer. For some of you, it's a Pisces cancer, a scorpion. This person is no older than 35. They're investigating this person because they recognize some dishonest um, some dishonesty of this person and it could be um, for some of you is at the workplace but for some of you it's like you work you live in an apartment complex and a young Pisces cancer or scorpion person have done something and you know that it's them and don't judge but they're investigating this young Pisces cancer I see that it could be your child so Taurus is if your child is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, or a young Pisces cancer or a scorpion person, there your child, there's something, some sort of an investigation and they're going to be recognizing, but not to worry. I see your child will get out of this, okay? Then we see a corporation institution is now recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of a Aries Leo, a Sagittarian woman and recognizing that this uh, woman is a fraud. They're now recognizing that this woman is a fraud. So I see that you're going to be having, you Tauruses are going to be having some sort of a luck. Um, you Tauruses have helped to show up that a Aries Leo, a fire sign person or a Pisces woman is a fraud. And it is as if... Uh, um, they're going to be recognizing because a corporation is now recognizing that, um, you're, it's as if some of you, um, these two people try to extort you. It can be a mother and a daughter. So let's say that the mother is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian and the daughter is a Pisces. They try to extort you and they have extorted you. And a corporation is now going to be looking deeper in the situation and is recognizing that this Aries Leo a Sagittarian a woman and her daughter, a Pisces, not to be trusted. A corporation institution is going to be recognizing how they took from you and build and create wealth for themselves and never turn around and help you. And because of that, I see that a corporation institution is going to be making sure and creating ways for you to regain a lot of stuff, okay? They're going to be giving you a contract. They're going to be giving you a contract. And whatever this contract is, Taurus, is, is that... Whatever these people have done, so let's say that your family, your mother, your father has passed away, you grew up with your aunt and your cousin, they have took from you like money that was supposed to come in for you, Tauruses, they took this money and they use it for themselves. Um, and, and, and a corporation is now going to be recognizing, oh my God, um, oh my God, um, it's like, you know, I corporation is going to be recognizing Jesus, but uh, the, you know, the mother or the parents died and left uh, this child a whole lot of money. Where is all this money? And they're going to be recognizing that your aunt and her daughter, a Pisces, have took the money that your parents have left you and bill for themselves and create for themselves and get riches and never never put your name on any of what they had bought and they use your own money to buy it. So I see this corporation institution is going to be thinking, oh my God, family, eh? Wow. This corporation institution is going to be, and, and, and because of that, this corporation institution is going to be making sure that a new contract comes in for you. And that no one else can ever access or use or whatever. Because this corporation institution recognized Jesus. Um, wow. Blood. These people who said that their family. Look at how they treat the lady only child. And they 
um, took the lady um, only child money and create wealth for themselves and have never ever put um, you know like leave anything they use the the, the um, inheritance of this lady uh, and, and, and this corporation is going to be thinking, Jesus, what a family is this? And then this corporation institution is going to be making sure um, that they either pay you back or um, the house has been left to you or the apartment or the business or your, you will get your share because they're going to be investigating this and it's going to be making sure that you will get your share of this business because it was your money that helped to set up this business it is um this full moon i you know ladies and gentlemen full moon you want to know anything check out the full moon readings and i will advise you guys to go back and look at two three months before okay so if you um look at this full moon reading go back and check the month before that the month before that do you know why um sometimes my frequencies further than your frequency and what happens is that what happens two months ago in the full moon is what is affecting you in this full moon okay so work with two months back okay because that could be helping you guys to understand two or three months back some people said you know like three months ago you said this in the full moon and now it's happening because it's full moon energy okay so it can happen in any full moon this can happen in december full moon because it's the energy of the full moon and your frequency you might be going through the frequency that is not hop but you know something taurus says so for all that they have done and how they have treated you unfairly um, I see that a government corporation and institution is going to be making sure um, that you get to the um, the top of the uh, food chain because they recognize how you were unfairly, unfairly um, treated. And um, they're going to be making sure that you get um, a contract because it's as if they recognize that people try to block you and your own family um you know took them took your own money and build their own business and never offered you and i see a corporation is going to be going back for some of you and is going to be making sure and i see whatever you're having whatever issues um they're going to be protecting your child okay because they're going to be recognizing so what we see a decision you have been enduring enduring sickness uh, enduring through some sort of a sickness enduring through some sort of a, a illness that was going either for you or your wife or your family and i see some sort of a balance is going to be coming in um your wishes and dreams what you had hope um to create is going to be happening so let's say that you have your uh, mind and thoughts on a business yes it's going to be happening and i see that you're going to be getting help from higher authority in order to um, begin this uh, business because they're going to be recognizing that you are on top of your game with what they're looking for and what the, they wanted um this kind of company or this kind of situation and you're on top of your game and i see that they're going to be um, recognizing this and um, is going to be helping you out all right so this is good so i see some sort of a new contract some of you um were worried about some new contract don't worry it is going to be okay it's as if some of you have some sort of an emotional that you know why is it taking so late sometimes the things that take uh, that um is late is uh, the best one for you i do love you guys please like shares and thumbs up subscribe set your notification buttons on share 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 this full moon and remember to go check out the full moon for your partners also i do love you namaste until next time